All right, so Pierce is a team that's always here and there on the meta, so I thought, you know what, let's see if the GP meta allows Pierce these days. I was also thinking of putting Ascular in the front here instead of Rugal. I might do that, but let's see. By the way, I was reading some comments on my uh, my last video when I was opening Yu-Gi-Oh cards while playing the game. It was just something experimental. Uh, people, Some people liked this, people not liked it as much, but... Uh, I, I actually thought it was pretty fun, because I actually, like, the pack I opened was really nice. So that was good. And then the matches were like, people in the comments were like, opponent, sweats, Nagato. <laughs> oh, this card is so cool, it just clicks auto. <laughs> and the first match, we're facing another pen team here. Hopefully he's not using Red King for some reason. He isn't. Alright. Let's just do this. But yeah, that was nice. Um, honestly, I don't know. I've been really getting into just cards. I think it's because there's nothing else to do. Like, I have nothing else to do. In general. I just have nothing else to do. <laughs> uh, all I do is record videos, which takes about half my day. I would say. Then the other half of my day, I'm like, I don't do anything. So I was like, I if I just get into cards, <laughs> that's something I can do. <laughs> is that terrible monetary investment? Probably. Probably, but it's fun. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I was uh, I need to announce something. So today at 8 p.m. German time. So in, <laughs> but it's 12 p.m. PST. There will be the JP tournament. I'll be streaming it on Twitch. So if you guys want to follow me on Twitch to get the notification for it, I would advise so. It will be fun, it will be the one that I've been posting some videos about, that you have to, you know, select a specific team with specific points and stuff. It'll be very fun. This guy is using Demon Meliodas. Unfortunately, I didn't get a, a third Pierce card, but let's see. But yeah, that'll be fun. Um, so yeah, I, I would say if you want to follow the Twitch, just in case you don't want to miss it, that'll be nice. And then tomorrow, on Sunday, will be the Global Tournament, the official one. And that will be... I mean, the, the time is like on the game itself, you can take a look there. But... I don't know, I'm forced to stream it, but I kind of don't want to stream myself getting beat up. <laughs> Spear's gonna beat my ass, dude. His account's so much better than mine on Global. I need, I need to stop neglecting Global, but like, I, 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 was, I committed to like going for the play. I don't even buy like the weekly monthly packs. That might have been a mistake. Does that kill Rugo? No. Ah, it's a shame that Rugo is, you know, healed and stuff, but it doesn't really matter. Let me attack Lord the Meliodas. And hope the next turn we'll get a Pierce card, please. Alright, no crits. I'm thinking maybe maybe with Ascanor it wouldn't be so bad, huh? Because then you get that the one hit kill. On someone, yeah, you do that. The ooh, you do that like the one, the one hit to Vascular, and then you do the Pierce card, and you do the other one hit. That wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> what is he gonna do? But yeah, about cards, if you want to subscribe to my second channel, it's for open cards. But I mean, only if you want to. <laughs> if you if you like cards and stuff. It's it's co it's not that different than like playing a gacha game, but of course it's not the same thing. I'm gonna have to trust that Lily is gonna break the shield. Can you do that for me, Lily? Can you do that for me? Ah, you can't. Ah, you broke Liz. That's good enough. That's damage on Liz. That's good enough. If he doesn't have another stun, please. That would be great. Because look at those cards. So many melee cards. Oh, <laughs> uh, those are level... Oh, those level 3 stun! <sighs> if he stuns Lily, I swear to god. He's ranking himself up. Should we level 2? Oh, level 3. I, mean, if I, I thought like a level 2 rank up. That was weird. Okay. Um, let's do this. 
I guess we'll just attack twice. I got a lot of cards. P please give me a Rugal card. Just, <laughs> just one Rugal card. Okay. Just one Rugal card, please. One. You see this? You see this? This this is called this is called bullshit. He's gonna stun Melly again, is it? Oh I can I can actually cleanse this time. I can actually cleanse this time. No, so, not if he dies! <laughs> God chill. I can actually cleanse this time, thank god. Bro. This match would have ended so much earlier if only I got like some Rugo cards. I rank those cards up to level 3s now. Oh, now I get Rugo. Now that he's about to die to Lost Bane. This, this match would have ended five years ago. Okay, now I have to hope that Ascanor can take this one home. Okay. I might be able to just kill Liz here. That would have been the end of the stunts. Oh. This shield is really powerful. It's because she, she's being at a 35% attack boosted by Gelfer. Her shield is really strong. Oh, and I can't stun it. Uh, I can't de stun as. <laughs> cleanse. Cleanse is a better way of saying it. I can't cleanse Ascona if she gets stunned now. He stuns Liz, oh, sorry, Lilia, and Askinor. I hate Liz so much, I hate her so much. Why is this in the game? Why is this unit in the game? It promotes nothing except toxicity. I hate Liz so much. Why is she in the game? Please tell me. Tell me why. Okay, you can't stun me now, because Askinor becomes immune next turn. Thank God. We're going to like a level 3 shield, aren't you? I hate her so much. <laughs> Everything about her is toxic. The revive, the stun, the shield. Everything about this unit is toxic. Cool. Okay, Askun. You're going to have to take it all by yourself. Can you do that, big boy? Okay. He's immune, so next turn he will not be able to be stunned. And this kills Gelfer for sure. Yep. Next turn he cannot be stunned. Or this turn. I got another level 3. Could that one shot Lost Pain? Maybe I should kill Liz. It depends on what he does here. Maybe we should kill Liz. Oh, he's gonna shield, isn't he? He is. Would that level 3 still kill Liz? Oh, he tried to stun! Oh, what a stupid... What a stupid baby boy! Alright, okay. They should kill Liz. Is level 1 here? Actually should kill Liz. Yeah! Look at Askeler taking it! Yeah! Alright! That should one shot. If it doesn't one shot, I'm in trouble. <laughs> if this doesn't one shot, I'm in trouble. Man, man, this match was so long and it should have ended so like if I got better RNG Doing crud, it's okay. Next next turn will kill. If I got better RNG, I would have ended the match five years ago. That's what's crazy. That's what's crazy. Now you forfeit. Oh my god. But yeah, tonight, uh later today, or tonight, I don't know. On my second channel, I'll be opening these boxes right here. These are really good. Oh, it goes first. No! That means Lilia dies. These are really good. They have a ghost where... I hope I, ho I hope they have it. <laughs> I hope I'll pull one. Really, really cool card. But... It's like, the chance of getting one, my friend sort of told me, is like 1 in 24. Oh yeah, look at that. That's why going second with Pierce is these days is just 
impossible to win because turn one, they just shield up with Liz, and then you can't do anything. Like you act like the the Pierce cards. If I use both Pierce cards, it doesn't break the shield because the cards themselves are really weak. The cards themselves are inherently weak. They just get the triple Pierce and become super broken because of the oh I didn't break the shield. If it wasn't for Gulfer's uh, attack buff, he would have broken it. Yeah, this is the issue with the Pierce team. The CC is very low. Very low. Like, these characters have all UR gear, and I still... Don't have good CC. <laughs> that was just sad. She just got completely one shot. Oh, that means full heal. She just got completely one shot. Alright, there's, there's still a chance. I got my own Askano here. No Lilia, so Mally is gonna hit like a feather. But still a good chance here, could win maybe. Rugal is hitting decent. Yeah, Mally without Lilia is kinda sad, but it's okay. They're very low in health. The thing the, the bad thing is that Askano is gonna fully heal when he attacks again. But the corro level 2 corrosion. Oh, Askano doesn't have corrosion anymore. Level 2 Corrosion is really good. Mm. If he has 3 Ascona cards, we're done for folks. And now he's dead. Yeah, he got 3 Ascona cards, of course he did. If I do this, that will kill Gulfer, hopefully. No, I need to kill... I need to make sure that I kill Liz. For, so the revive is gone. And I kill Gulfer with this, so that the attack buff is gone. Kill. Kill. You're kidding me! Oh, one, one more upgraded weapon for Rugal and he would have killed Liz and Gulfer. Where are the odds he doesn't kill Askin? Very low. Uh, he stuns Rugo. <sighs> okay. I'm killing both Liz and Gelfer right here. That's the better play. I'll heal quite a bit as well. <clears throat> Focusing on Askin is just stupid because he just heals so much. And that will take away um, his one turn. So he's gonna only have uh, two turns now. Last lane, of course. But next turn he gets Askinor's ultimate. And there's nothing you can do about it. Or, like, actually nothing. Not next turn, the following. Hmm. Yeah, next time Masko is dead. Knowing how I kill Meliodas. Just gonna have to hope he, that he heals enough that he survives a hit here. Mm. He's gonna survive the first hit, but the second will kill. Yeah, we're done here, folks. Yeah, then the second one will kill. Mm. If it wasn't for the PvP rule, I could have got Rugal's ultimate. But at the same time, it's like, yeah. I'm super attack lowering, but I'm assuming he's the 166 because at this level of PvP, every single person I face is 666 the one. Oh, he became immune. <laughs> I, th I thought this, the cycle was going to be 2 and then 1, but it was 2 and then 3. So he became immune anyways. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Alright, King Team. And I go second again, yeah. The CC on the Pierce Team isn't so good. Because there's not many units that you, you would be using HP defense. That's a big issue. I mean, if they if this person has... Uh, what's what's her name? Um, Lolly Girl? I might as well just quit, because then my Pierce is going to be ruined. I need to check my peers. And th like th this week, this team just does insane damage. Oh. 
If you go second, like, yeah, that's the issue with PvP now. If you go second, you lose. If you go second, you just lose. There's not much you can do about that. He's using Lolly Girl. He isn't, okay. Yeah, HP defense asking her for CC. He just doesn't hit that hard. Hmm. If Rugo drops below 50, this card could hit pretty hard. But I don't have any Askener cards. I mean, I kind of want Melee Goddess to die. To potentially get an uh, Askener card. Yo! That's... That might drop Rugo below 50. Yeah, that might drop Rugo below 50. Yeah! Nice. Okay. That mi this might kill King. Which would be the best thing to do here. Just killing King. Yeah, King's dead. For sure. Okay. But that shock is gonna hit hard! The debuffs do 50% more damage, so it's like, it's PvP rule, gotta love PvP rules. Love them. So much. Oh wow, yeah, that's kind of dead. If it's a resonant hit, oh, that's kind of died. Yeah, he was my chance of winning here, but no. I'll play one more, but so, yeah. Pierce is just... It, I think that the issue is going second. When you go first with Pierce, you have a chance. But if you go second against these teams, like, every single meta team right now relies on going first. Every single one relies on going first. If they go first, they win. A big factor on the CC is Lilia. Lilia has awful CC. I have HP defense with her, and I, yeah, the rolls are pierced, so she's not getting a lot of attack for her CC. But with HP defense, you are gear, full costumes, a little bit of them upgraded. She has only 48k CC. That's terrible for a 6-6 six, six unit with, like, full UR gear. Awful. Especially HP defense, like, that's awful CC. And that's because her, her substats are so terrible. Lilia has terrible CC. That, that's something that, that you know, degrades the team a lot when it comes to it. And so does Rugo. L Rugo also doesn't have good CC. And Mali has okay. So the team itself just doesn't have the greatest when it comes to all that. But when I go first, this is what happens. So yeah, as long as you go first, you can actually still use the Pierce team. For sure. But that's the issue, right? This guy I faced is using a probably he doesn't have many dupes on his characters probably, and maybe he's not using HP defense for King. But if you face a whale, you have no chance. All right, that's it. I I wouldn't say Pierce is meta. It's still usable though. I won what three out of five matches. Was it? It's not bad. Or is it four out of six? I actually lost count. It's a, but that's okay. That's a good. That's a decent margin. I would say for for champions, that's a decent margin. I won't um, be too harsh on that. All right, that's it.